Okay, so today we're going to take a look at the 49 and the 43 inch TCL TV here and using them as a monitor. Uh, just to let you know, turns out fantastic. Still one year to this day when I filmed this, still using them. Highly recommended. Links in the description. Okay, so here's the pre existing setup. We got a 27 inch Acer, we got a 29 inch wide AOC, a 24 inch Asus, and a 24 inch sonic mixture here so we are going to turn that into our lovely 49 inch TV here so let's get to it Get a five foot power cord terrible okay here we go let's get started huh English United States uh, yeah I guess I'm setting up for home huh some wireless Light up some new wireless here TV will now get the latest software. It's like really a straight, pure Roku remote. I don't see any way to actually get my cancel, I guess, huh? Cancel. Like, do I actually have to set up Roku to use a Roku TV? Okay, so appears you can't really use a Roku TV without a signing in was no big deal I already had an account but uh, I mean this TV is cheaper I didn't buy it for the Roku I bought it because it was cheap and it has the chroma 444 to use as a monitor so that's interesting I feel I'm just trying to get the readability of it here to see how easy that is to read or not I know on the camera it's going to come out a little weird because of the scanning but I think that's pretty good very easy to read, but uh, I want to turn down. Right now, I'm super close to it, too. So I'm going to take apart these other monitors and uh, set this up permanently here. Turn the TV on. Computer. There we go. Wow, that is... So nice. Wow, that is that is beautiful. You know, okay, so we figured out last time that uh, I had a 1.4 cable which limited it to 24 hertz. So here is a 2.0 cable. It should be able to do 60 hertz 4K. Um, right now. Uh, my head would be about two and a half feet from the screen. Most of the time they recommend one and a half times the uh, diagonal uh, size of your monitor. So the end result is we are keeping this 49 inch and we will send the 43 inch back. I just find I can't get the large enough um, browser windows on the 43 so I would recommend if you want to use four Screens on one monitor that you get something 49 inches or larger larger is hard unless you're gonna sit further back from it uh, I plan on sitting about three feet from it. Maybe four feet Once I get uh, nah, I can't do four feet It'd be about three feet So that's what makes this hard with a 4k is you have to sit far back to not strain your eyes but then once you use that resolution, you know, without scaling, uh, you just can't, you just can't do it. Here you can kind of see how the text in this uh, Google Doc has kind of like a little blue thing going on there. And this one doesn't. I don't know while that's coming out in the video, I think it's coming out there. There's that one. Yeah, definitely you can see that in the video. This is what this text is supposed to look like. I'll put a link down in the description for that. This is what it looks like on the other monitor. So we've got to fix that. This is the fact that it's not using the Chroma 444. So... I'm going to try a few things and try to fix that. 
So I'm not quite sure where to set this not in NVIDIA, but uh, uh, if you have an NVIDIA card, you're going to right-click and go NVIDIA Control Panel and change resolution. It'll give you more details to be able to change the output color format. This is the Chroma 444, so that's what you want if you're using it as a desktop. It won't seem to let me change the color depth and whatnot. I'm not sure why, but uh, that's kind of the setup I've got. You'll see here that... Uh, change it to even just 422 and apply and now we'll see oh can't read that and you also see the bluish kind of it almost looks like it's trying to be 3d without 3d glasses and watch it'll change back in a second here because it's going to time out asking me if i want to save those changes which i don't because of crap here we go switch back and now you should be able to see that the uh, blue is a little gone there. And you can definitely see that you can read that now. So that's in the NVIDIA settings. I don't know if you don't have an NVIDIA card. I don't know if the other manufacturers have the same similar thing, but in a change resolution. There doesn't seem to be a way in Windows to do this. You have to use your video card's uh, third-party app. But you just make sure it's on that... Uh, Chroma 444, which you can see the output color format. And also make sure that you have a HDMI 2.0 cable and, of course, a television that is capable of Chroma 444. This particular one, you have to have it in the top HDMI port and set to computer. But uh, there'll be a list and description of TVs that do do that. And uh, here you go. And I'm doing now. This is one of my old 24-inch uh, monitors, and then this is the TV. Let me get this cable out of the way. Very long cable. Just there we go. Okay. So you can see the brightness is kind of an issue, but I feel like when I turn the brightness up on the display, that it kind of hurts my eyes. But maybe that's the problem. Okay, I think I found the magic sauce here. What was messing me up? This looks beautiful now. Oh, I am still scaled, aren't I? Let me turn off my scaling. Oh, okay, never mind. Oh, shit, my scale's at 100 right now? Oh, that's so nice. Wait, seriously? My scaling's at 100. Are you sure? That's awesome. Okay. So this is awesome. The biggest problem I was having, now let's see, let's duplicate this a bunch of times so we can see kind of the typical work environment I'm in here where I have every corner covered in kind of a bright white. Yeah, I st oh, I love it. Oh, this is great. Yes. But yeah, this blue tint was really killing me. So what I did is I, I changed it to bright. And in advanced picture settings, I change the uh, color temperature to warm. And this warm color temperature really just changed everything. And it feels good on my eyes now. And it just looks beautiful. Uh, now I'm going to try something here because I, um, I look at these. Yeah. Oh, that's so nice. Yeah. I look at these spreadsheets all the time. And this is not scaled. This is... Uh, Regular, oh, this is perfect. Okay, so there you go. That is the way to use the TCL and the settings. When you're doing the settings, you just, you gotta hook it up in computer mode. So let me go back and show all that here. I'm gonna put this monitor down over here. Okay, so I wanna show the settings that you use for this. And you'll do this at the beginning when you do the setup, but make sure you're in the first HDMI slot that says ARC on it. And then you need to set it as computer. Okay, so there's, the, oops, there's the HDMI ARC. But you have to pick, pick computer. And if you want, you can change this HDMI mode to 2.0 too. Make sure you have a 2.0 cable. Otherwise, you won't get the Chroma 444. 
But yeah, once your set is that, then you load up the computer port and you hit the asterisk on the key thing here. And then, like I said, these are the settings that work for me. You can adjust, obviously, to your own thing. It doesn't matter what picture mode you're in. That's just kind of how it defaults. And then you just use these advanced picture settings. And like I said, the big thing was this color temperature. When I had a normal, oh, this is, kill, this is killing my eyes, killing me. And now I put it on warm. Bam. Looks good. So there you go. I'm keeping the 49. And now I'm super excited about it because I got the settings set up just right. So you might have heard me mentioning scaling earlier. I did have them scaled before and 100% work for me, but if everything's a little too small for you, you can go in these display settings here and change this to whatever percentage works for you. Uh, personal preference. So like I said in the beginning, still using this monitor to this day. It's amazing. About to buy another one for my house. Uh, so hope you enjoyed it. Like I said in the beginning, the link's in the description. Uh, for each place to buy the cable, the TV. Uh, the 49 is now a 50, but it's actually the same TV. So, um, Other than that, uh, please like if you liked, dislike if you disliked, and subscribe either way. Thank you very much. Have fun.